Okay, so now I've actually opened up the project that I used, the, the one that you see on YouTube. And this is just to show you a little bit more of the advanced techniques that I use, stuff that I learned. I think a lot of people wonder probably how, because this right here, this stuff is all just, you know, just that frame by frame, kind of follow your palms. It'll make it just look just like that as long as you change the conductivity state. It'll give you that effect. Now here, a lot of people may have wondered how during this part I made the lightning become a lot more powerful in that one frame. How it just increased a lot. And what I did, as I'll show you down in the effect controls, is there's a couple different settings that I changed. If you note, if you remember earlier on, so you to use strike for the lightning type, but what I did here is I changed it to two-way strike, which if you look back at the video, that's kind of a two-way strike, but if I reduce it back to strike, you can see it loses a lot of it. Two-way strike just really doubles the effect, makes it look a lot more clean and a lot more powerful. And other things that I did is I increased the core radius a little bit, um, you'll notice the core opacity I changed. You don't want it to be 100 because then it really doesn't get that nice lightning kind of effect, a little bit of see-through. You don't want it totally opaque or it looks bad. And then the main thing is the glow radius. Now when you move this up and down, I'll show you. If you move it up and down, you'll notice that the lightning seems to get weaker, less powerful, whereas right after that's how I got that effect right on that frame I changed it to a much higher radius made it look nicer and also I changed the forking which you can see right here I just move this up and down and as I move that up and down I'll show you what it does to your lightning here so you move it up and down it creates more and more tangents kind of thing the more or less you have, if you don't have any, it's just going to be your basic two beams here. But if you increase it a lot, it's going to get... If you increase it to 100, it's almost too much. So I think I, I chose right at 45%. Gave it a lot of tangents, but not too much just to make it, you know, over. Because you don't want it to be white. You want to be actually be able to see all the little lightning bolts and tangents in there. And... There's a, just a couple more things you can play with down here, just options. Um, delay decay main core. That's just basically that you want the uh, core of your lightning get, to get bigger and smaller. You know, like as it goes down, it'll get weaker. As it goes from beginning to end, you'll notice that it gets weaker over here from where it starts. If you turn that off, then it's just the same strength all the way through. And so that's basically it. A lot of it is just playing with it, making it look as clean and cool as possible. Again, if you ever get those little energy balls in there, I think I had them on occasion if you watch the video. I had them in a few places. I'm trying to see if I find any. Not right off the bat, but if you do, just try it. If you move your source point by just a fraction from where it was then sometimes it gets rid of it I think sometimes just when it hits certain settings then uh, it'll create those big balls which kinda look really weird when you're playing it in real time because it almost looks like a mini explosion so yeah that's basically it it's just a lot of playing around the best thing you can do is just go through all these settings with just a basic lightning bolt and see how it changes it but yeah that's basically it so just one thing just make sure that these uh, little stopwatches, you click them before you start because if you don't, it'll look like it's changing but when you go back to see it, you won't actually have anything done. You'll just have moved it around and it'll stay in one spot. I've done that a few times and it really makes you angry if you get it even a little ways into the video that all your work is done and for nothing. So it's basically it so you guys can have fun. This basic concept applies to just about anything in Adobe After Effects. I mean I'm putting up a video soon of a Dragon Ball Z kind of fight, so you'll see I used the, basically the same methods in this. It wasn't as hard because it was just circles and stuff, but it's just pretty basic stuff. This is just the basics of Adobe After Effects. If you can master this, you guys will be good. So, thanks for your time.